Hi, and this is Paul Richardson, and in this video I'm going to show you how to be able to tell if that email you just got is a phishing email. Okay, what is phishing? Phishing is a scam uh, where it takes a legitimate looking email and is after your personal information or they want to hack into your business network. Now, these emails can be from banks, credit card accounts, friends, relatives, almost anything uh, you might be familiar with. Uh, the layout of the email may look similar to, let's say, PayPal or Amex or, uh, you know, something from your friend. Uh, but the main thing they want you to do is either click on a link, which takes you someplace bad, or open an attachment, which does something bad to your computer. <laughs> all right so what do you look for uh, when you look at an email first of all who it's from is that sender who you think it is uh, then the links you know do they take you where they say you will I'll show you how to figure that out attachments do not open attachments uh, normally when we send attachments we let somebody know in an email ahead of time saying we are sending you an attachment and then you follow it up with another email with the attachment. Um, but if you check out the from and the links and it looks legitimate, uh, you may want to open it up. But uh, I would, you know, confirm with whoever sent you that email that they did send you the the attachment. Okay, so let's take a look at some examples. Okay, now before we get into some examples, uh, as a security precaution, I would suggest before you start digging down into this, you pull the cable on the internet. Uh, now there's some uh, antivirus uh, that have a firewall where you can just say, you know, block all traffic, uh, or you can pull the cable out of the back of your computer if you're on wireless, shut down your wireless. So if you accidentally click on something, uh, you're not going to get in a lot of trouble. So here's our first example. Uh, your home security info and the email is all pictures. Now most email clients will protect your privacy uh, block remote content. Now that's because if you actually download a picture, then whoever sent you that email knows that your email is legitimate. Now, they may send out a million emails to all sorts of people where they, they know there are legitimate addresses or not. By downloading pictures, that sends up a flag that this is a legitimate email, and they can continue to send spam type stuff to you. Okay, uh, our next one. And who is this from? And this is from me. Really? Well, it says it's from me, but the actual address is the penthouse.com. And uh, obviously this is spam. Actually, this is so spammy, even Thunderbird figures it's spammy. Uh, Thunderbird is the email client I use. Most people use Outlook, but I've been using Thunderbird for years and years. Okay. So now this is supposed to be from a friend of mine, Mike, and it's like some really weird thing at Hotmail. Well, oh, that's that's not Mike. And the link, well, the link dot ru, that's Russia. So it's kind of obvious that uh, that this is a a phishing email if they're put you know sending you it's su supposedly from a friend of mine sending me to some place in Russia. Okay, these are pretty obvious. Let's take a look at a couple more uh, maybe difficult ones. Now, the first thing we're going to notice here is from IRS. IRS at birchconnect.com. Well, that doesn't sound like IRS. Uh, the second thing is they're sending this to uh, CEO, which is a very little used email account. Uh, so it's not my main account. Okay, so then we'll go down here. And what I want you to do is take a look down here in the status bar when I hover over this link. And it goes to paintestimatingcourse.com. Okay, so what this is, is let's say you're a business and you hire some agency to increase traffic to your website. 
So this uh, not quite legitimate agency sends out a bunch of these emails. When somebody clicks on them, it takes them to that site. So then they go to the business owner and say, see, we've increased all your traffic. Right, and how many of them bounce right back out? So it's not all malware that they're sending out for phishing. There are other reasons beside that. Okay, and then again, here's uh, something from Apple. Apple at uh, kcheradio.com. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, and then two, and then here's just some random stuff, and then then again this uh, other address. Uh, so again, take a look down in the lower left, view receipt, and this goes to craigbuyer.com. It doesn't go to Apple. Uh, but again, the subject, you know, uh, notification regarding your recent purchase. Well, so if you send out a million, what are the odds that somebody just recently downloaded or bought an app through uh, Apple? So again, this is how they work. Okay, next we're going to get into attachments. Uh, here's one from Hunter Anderson, who I never heard of. Uh, subject invoice, dear customer. Well, if I was a customer, they should know my name. WMD customer support. What's WMD? Never heard of them. But here's a zip file that's attached to it. So what they want you to do is open and extract this, this uh, zip file. I wouldn't recommend it because it's probably going to turn your, uh, your computer into a bot. Okay, let's take a look at another one. Uh, here's another attachment. It's something, something, something dot htm, which is supposedly a web page. Why that's an attachment, I don't know, unless when you go to open it, it's going to open up in your browser. Now, this one, uh, let's start doing a little detective work. I kind of actually have fun doing this because it's it's fun to, to find out what's actually going on with some of these emails. So, first of all, this is from American Express, AEXPmail.com, which looks legitimate. All right, so how do we know is, if this is really legitimate? Well, in Thunderbird, if we go to View, Headers, All, then we can scroll down through here. It says Return Path. That looks good. And then all of a sudden it goes received from mevamerchant.net. And Meva Merchant, Meva Merchant, Meva Merchant. So, and this this is just a local IP address for Meva Merchant. Speaking of IP addresses, uh, here's another handy little tool. And what we can do is we can look up this IP address and control C to copy that and let's go take a look at the internet and I'm pretty sure this is already in here and we're going to track this so Meva Merchant and but there's no there's no city there's no state it just says United States but and well here's a map uh, which is Cheney Reservoir. Where is Cheney Reservoir? Zoom out Wichita. So supposedly coming from an American Express, this is a lake in the middle of Kansas. Well, that doesn't sound real good. So let's go back and take another look at the email. Uh, let's take another look at our link. HTTPS tracking, no dot com, no dot anything. So it's probably just a bogus uh, 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 link. What to do? It doesn't seem to be a link at all. Um, now, in, if you're in Outlook, uh, oh, let me show you how to do that. If you're in Outlook, you have to double click on the message to open it in the new uh, in its own window. Once you do that, if you click on File and go to Properties, uh, then you get this little Internet Headers box here, which is real small and real difficult to read, but that's how you get underneath just that one line that says who it's from, is to, is to go through it this way. 
Uh, so like I said, this is one way to uh, dig down into that header. Now, uh, in Thunderbird, uh, we take another look at another one here. Let me go uh, get rid of it. Well, we can take a look at this header received from Guardi.date. So that looks pretty legitimate. Um, and again, let's take a look at the link. That's Guardi.date. But in Thunderbird, if, uh, if we go up here to more, there's something that says view source. Now, since this is an HTML email, it lets you look at the HTML code that sits underneath it. And if we look at our HTML, the content preview, there's a bunch of recipes in there. Now, you can find other stuff that's a lot worse than a bunch of res uh, recipes. A lot of it can be, you know, porno site type stuff or whatever. But this is all underlying the actual email that you see. It's just, it's code that says display none. So it doesn't actually show up on the page. But it's in that email, so it's hiding stuff in the email. Now, I don't think Outlook has the same type of thing. Um, but again, you can, uh, you can find out all sorts of different stuff. Now this, if you look at down at the status bar, uh, I actually copied one of these. So, you know, remove your information from our database. Well, it's, I put this in a in a notepad and this is the actual link so if it's if it's just going to a web page to remove you from a database why is the link this long so again another red flag so these are just some of the things you just you know after 20 years of doing this you know it's kind of natural for me to do it uh, but some of my clients, you know, they've got new employees. And again, phishing is almost the number one way that, you know, they don't have to hire coders and hackers and get through firewalls and do all that stuff. They just send an email and some poor employee doesn't know what they're doing and clicks on a link and bam, their whole business network is compromised. So uh, this is my attempt to train uh, business people as well as uh, regular people like all of my friends and relatives as well as all of you out there uh, how to spot spam or I'm sorry how to spot uh, phishing uh, phishing is different than spam uh, because the consequences can be much more dire so we showed you uh, the from, uh, how to dig down underneath the actual uh, from line to look deeper into the header. Uh, the subjects were pretty generic and uh, the two, uh, again, a little used address or something kind of off the wall. But the main thing is the links and how to tell where the link actually goes and do not click on the link and again the attachments do not open the attachments so uh, hopefully uh, you now know a little bit more on how to spot a phishing email by me showing you what's fishy with them